The American Planning Association has recognized our main street as one of the 10 best streets in the country. We know that. So it's good now that, uh, the, uh, that we're recognized nationally. And if you go on the website, you'll see that we share this award with a number of other communities across the country. So uh, I'm going to introduce uh, our visiting uh, delegates and uh, other people to say a few words. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Senator Dan Wolf. Thank you, Andy. We, do we, do we don't need a microphone, right? Yeah. I think they need a microphone. <laughs> I know, I don't want to use it. Yeah, I guess the sound of the paving trucks would sort of drown me out if I didn't have a microphone. <laughs> um, that's a long-standing joke for those of you who don't know. It's, a, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here. It comes as no surprise to me that this street was named one of the best main streets in the United States of America, uh, having spent the last 35 years walking up and down these streets. So I want to congratulate everybody who has had a vision to preserve this place for all the beauty and history that it represents. And also want to recognize at this moment those of you who have a vision for the future that includes some really smart transportation ideas. Uh, we were just at a ribbon cutting for a new part of the bike trail that was open here. Some new energy ideas because I know that this island is thinking in a very visionary forward looking way about how to produce and, and consume energy out here. And it all is part of the same thing, that the history and tradition of this island wrapped into a bright and incredible future with a great vision. So I thank you for allowing me to be part of this today. Uh, it is the best state senate district in the United States of America that I am privileged to represent. So thank you very much. And now I have the privilege, uh, I am a new time politician, so it helps to have the footsteps of a veteran to follow in. And I have to say, Tim Madden, uh, from everything to showing me where the actual restroom facilities are in the State House, to bringing me out to this island when I was running a year to year and a half ago and introducing me to so many of the great people I see here uh, and in the other parts of the district. You are so fortunate to have Tim as your representative. You know that. Um, I know that too. He's been a great partner. He's a great advocate for his region. And I don't, I dare to say he plays favorites, but there does seem to be a special place in his heart for Nantucket. So we need to work hard to keep getting Tim elected over and over and over again. Tim? True. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah. You've been a wonderful addition as well to the uh, delegation. Uh, the senator plays such an important role, and uh, we have a very, um, a very good one, so we're, we're delighted with that. And someone who is connected to the island as well. We all know this him as probably his, his former job as CEO and founder of uh, Cape Air, Nantucket Air, which is you know one of our lifelines to the island. We talk about the steamship, but if the steamship's not running, at least we have a plane we can hop on. It's usually a windy plane, but at least it'll get us where we need to go. Um, with that, this really isn't about us. Um, it's really about Main Street and about Nantucket. Um, first, I want to congratulate the planning office, uh, the chairman, Nat Lowell, the director, um, Andrew Vorse, and his staff for putting together an amazing application. Uh, anyone who has not seen it, and I venture to say most of you haven't seen it, need to see it. That application was so in, um, such an eye-opener and a reminder of how historic this Main Street is. Um, it's interesting that it's listed as one of the ten best, but we all know that it is number one. Um, the other ones, you know, no offense to Woodstock or Santa Monica Boulevard, they're all lovely spots, uh, both of which I've been to, but none compared to this Main Street. So Nantucket deserves a big hand, its planning department deserves a big hand. And, and, uh, and I'm sure Nat will talk about it because his, his, his family goes back for a number of years and um, I was delighted to see here with the Pacific Bank. But we're, you know, I always point out the two brick buildings on Main Street and we know it's not all of Main Street. Uh, we have a three bricks a little further down, but the Pacific Club and the Pacific Bank are, are kind of our, our cornerstones of the commercial part of Main Street. And what a beautiful cornerstones they are. Um, I think of Christmas Stoll and uh, it's, it's a little bit sad to see that there's uh, not 5,000 people out here. Next year, we'll have to do a drawing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and we'll do it at 3 o'clock. <laughs> but with that being said, this, you know, the Christmas stroll, for what it's worth, when this street is blocked off and loaded with people who are year-round residents in Nantucket, you really have a sense of what a community is. 
And whether you win the prize or not, you really don't care. It's like the pre-cocktail party. It's like the pre-event. It's like the pre-church of going to your Christmas dinner um, weekend. So with that, you know, it, it's a reflection of what happens. I look at the fountain down there and I think about the garden club and all the wonderful things they do. When I arrived back on island yesterday, I drove up and I was reminded that there's a football game as I drove by the fountain because we put our sporting events there and how appropriate that small town, but that's the town you want to live in. Um, I think about the daffodil day when they close it all off and all the cars once again, back when uh, your dad was around, we were, were new cars then. Um, but it, it's just a beautiful <laughs> sight. We have beautiful festivals here, and everyone gets wet on the 4th of July. And I, I brought up probably three or four of my favorite festivities that happen, and one of the few rare occasions that we close off Main Street for those events. But 4th of July with the waterworks, when I tell people that we actually have a water fight, on Main Street with the fire departments and some guy with a rickety old truck, they can't believe it. And um, it's true and everyone gets wet and people love it. Um, and some of you don't know, especially the people who are here visiting during the summer, Main Street only gets off really blocked off another time and it's just a portion of it right in front of us. And that's on those rare snow days where all of a sudden you can go sledding down Orange okay. Street. We close it off so everyone can slide safely into Main Street. Um, but it's an honor to be here. It's a pleasure to represent this island and live on this island. And we truly have the best Main Street. And thank you for bringing that to attention to everyone, Andrew. We knew that, but now everyone in the world knows it. So thank you so much. My name is Angela Vincent. I am the board, a board director for the American Planning Association Board of Directors. And I'd like to thank you for inviting me to this great event. Uh, I am a Main Street girl. I've lived on Main Streets. I do all my errands on Main Street. I worked on Main Street. And it really truly is an honor to be here on behalf of Mitchell Silver, our board director, uh, excuse me, our board president, as well as the American Institute of Certified Planners. Um, great places in the U.S. stand out for many reasons, including their strong sense of place, sometimes a legacy of planning um, and historic uh, ar architecture, interesting and unique places, um, as well as the characteristics, your leadership of elected officials, as well as all the citizens that have been involved in making this a great place. This program for Great Places started from the, uh, by the American Planning Association in 2007, and since then, 140 places located in all 50 states, including the District of Columbia, have been designated as great places. And that includes neighborhoods, streets, uh, as well as just areas, um, you know, like your fountain over here. Uh, this year, uh, there were three other streets actually named as great places in the, in the New England area, and this one is the best one, as by far, that has been said today. Uh, and that is uh, the downtown Woodstock streetscape in Woodstock, Vermont, Market Street and Market Square in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and College Hill neighborhood in Providence, Rhode Island. <coughs> Uh, this specific Main Street was really chosen for a lot of different reasons, and I will name a couple of those which I found to be very interesting, and I loved reading through the application, and I, I will underscore what Tim said. If you haven't had a chance to read it, it is absolutely amazing. Um, but the things that we identified by, by the American Planning Association were your, the establishment of your historic district in 1955, the investments by Walter Beinecke um, and Sherburn Associates that have really made a lot of the things downtown be special um, and recognized on a national map, your zoning measures that maximize the building needs of downtown parcels without detracting from the surrounding historic nature of the, of the buildings, restrictions on formula businesses, and a community gathering place for the events that Tim mentioned. And I'd love to come back to see all those events. I love it when main streets are shut down, I really do. Um, I do want to thank you again for allowing us to come out today. This was really an important thing for me to be part of. Again, I, I'm a huge fan of main streets. I, I was telling Andrew when I came in, that my first experience wasn't just the coming in, actually wasn't coming in from the ferry, it was coming down Center Street, and I felt the temperature change. I really did. I felt that this area was a warmth. There was something here that was created by people, by the, the, uh, the cobblestones, by the, the trees over the, the streets. Everything about this place felt special, and I already could feel myself getting excited to speak with you all today to congratulate you for your work and for your dedication and passion for making this a wonderful Main Street. So congratulations. And on that, I will give the plaque over to Nat. <laughs> <laughs> Lowell, congratulations. Hello. Okay, Andrew, hold that. Okay. Tim mentioned some stuff. My father would be proud of me right now and of all of us standing here on Main Street. And one thing that I would like to say, I'd like to thank Frank Spriggs who's standing right there for getting 
be involved with town politics, government, whatever you want to call it. I don't really like to call it politics. I like to call it the debate or the discussion. And this street right here, there are is, is sort of one of those things like there are four things on the Nantucket that are never going to happen. And I'll name them. McDonald's, street lights, meaning traffic signals, a fast ferry with automobiles, and paving Main Street. Those four things are never going to happen. And everything else will be debated long after we're gone. So thank you very much, Les, uh, Angela, sorry. And for coming here, I hope you come back. I will. Um, there's a lot of dates. Uh, Kate will give you them all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and thank you all for being here. And I don't really know what else to say except that join us at the park, us at the park for <laughs> donuts, coffee, and cider, Andrew. Cider. Okay, yes. cider. And thank you for coming. Thank you, Mr. Roy.